What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA, and today I'm talking about the recent drama with the New York Knicks and Kemba Walker. Now if you don't know, back in the offseason, they acquired Kemba Walker, they looked like they were going to be a great team, they also signed Evan Fournier on a decent lead deal, kind of a little overpriced, but still, it looked like they were going to improve a lot on their three-point shooting, and still be a great defensive team, especially getting back Mitchell Robinson from injury. That has been far from the case. They look like a shell of what they used to be last season. Last season, they were a four seed, and right now, they're barely in the playoff picture. That's very concerning, especially since a lot of their team is young and, you know, improving every single season, and somehow they're taking step backs. And Tom Thibodeau, has recently announced that Kemba Walker's not even going to be in the rotation anymore, which is just crazy to think about because he was an all-star not that long ago, as my cat's just chilling in the back camera. Kemba Walker is a great player now. He used to be an all-star not that long ago, but the problem is his defense. We all know he's my height, and he doesn't bring the most offensive intensity. He's more of just a get-the-ball and shoot it at a high efficiency kind of guy. And he has the worst plus minus in the entire league right now. By far, minus 122, I believe, off the top of my head. And that's what's made Tom Thibodeau made this decision of him being cut out of the entire rotation. And starting Alec Burks. Which is crazy to think about. You know, I'm not surprised they made a starting lineup change. What surprises me most is that Kemba Walker... They completely kicked to the curb, out of the rotation. You know, they didn't just bench him, they kicked him out of the rotation. He will get zero minutes, at least for now. Which is just interesting to think about, and... You know, if they start seeing success with him not getting minutes, I expect him to be traded. Because what's the point of keeping a guy shooting high efficiency from three, having a, you know, solid season for him... To just sit on the bench and do nothing. Most likely he will be traded if they start seceding. And there will be a lot of teams interested. Uh, I saw reports saying that potentially the New York Knicks will go after John Wall. I don't think that will happen. I looked basically how to make it work financially. They would have to include a lot of key pieces. They would have to include Kemba Walker, obviously, for John Wall. They would have to include a guy most likely like Evan Fournier or Derrick Rose, which I doubt they want to give up. I'm one of those guys. Also include a guy possibly like Alec Burks and Kevin Knox. And in return, the Rockets would have to give them a lot of their young pieces. And the Rockets would be getting back a bunch of old guys besides Kevin Knox. So what would be the point for the Rockets to do it? Yes, they get off John Wall's contract. But they also get rid of a lot of their young, good pieces. Like possibly Kenyon Martin Jr., Armani Brooks, uh, Jay Sean Tate. They don't want to lose guys like that. So I don't think John Wall is going to end up on the Knicks. I think a lot of other teams will be interested in Kemba Walker though. And like I said, if the team succeeds with him not playing, I expect him to be gone very, very soon. Let me know what you guys think about the New York Knicks. Is Kemba Walker the problem or is just the New York Knicks chemistry makeup of the team the problem? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time. I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 400. Peace.